buddy, what are we doing? Duke wants to go chase the canvas back, but he doesn't like to swim, so he, he can't. Well, let's see. Let's see. All right, don't hit me in the face. Let's see how close we can get to him. Rise in the back here somewhere, but let's go in search of canvas back. Let's see. Estimation, there's maybe a hundred, hundred cans. They get there all the way in behind that tree there. Oh, see, they go up the shoreline even further, so. I'm just gonna sit here for a second. It is a breezy one. 100% it's a breezy one. I'm gonna flip my hood up. Now, they're not, they're not, uh, they are very wild birds. They're really not that tame to this area just because they are so through there. Uh, there's some in through here. Some in through, what am I even saying? All right, let's concentrate. In the past, if you go back and look through some of the older videos, especially when there's about two feet of snow here, and this was all 100% ice. This place was loaded with birds, and they were very easy to, uh, they're very easy to, to get on the corn. Matter of fact, the one day Karen was sitting in the truck back there, and um, I was on up the shoreline some, and I grabbed a Canada goose. Felt bad for the thing, man. It was like feather light, so. All right. Let's see if I can move now. It's closer. I can get to these other cans. And take a little walk. Let's see what we can get into. Let's go there. All the mountain are kind of lounging in there. All right, so my question to you is, my question is, do you have... Any spots like this that hold canvas back? There really should be. I, I tell people, this is kind of my barometer, where by Christmas, what is it, uh, it's January 17th, but by Christmas, there should be at least 500 of them here, if not pushing a thousand, so. Um, everything is very, very late, very slow. So yes, do you have any spots where you have canvas bags? That little cove right there. Oh, that one there. Yep. Right by the sign. That's where I got down on my knees there in the deep snow. And man, there was open water right there. And I was throwing cord. Those things were just, everything was gone. That was the uh, snowy. are seeing more hens than drakes. How about, how about your eyes? My eyes see more hens than drakes. Yeah, definitely more hens than drakes. So they start there. They really don't like me standing here. They're up in here tight though, staying out of the wind. And we jump on over to those guys there. Don't see any canvas backs here during the off season though. But really, really, there should be that little what is that little guy? Oh, a ruddy duck. I was gonna say, is that a or ruddy? Man, it looks small. Super small. But when it's good here, you'll have cans, bluebill. I have seen a redhead or two. And then obviously a mallard, black duck. Nice, nice widgeon usually are up in here. Uh, some ringnecks that, that year in the snow. There were a lot of wood ducks. There were quite a few shovelers. And, um, and generally, if, if it's cold, there's a lot, a lot of waterfowl here, and there's just not. So I guess it is just the state of the state. So. <laughs>
I do appreciate you following along with me. Thank you very much. Home to get other stuff done. Just leaving storage, moving some decoys around. We still got Brant to the 31st. Woo! Skin. But uh, but yeah, thanks for following along. Appreciate it, Karen and I do. And as always, thank you to you. We are. Couldn't help myself. I thought possibly I could get close to these because they were up here tight, but they're not going to allow me. Definitely more hens than drakes. Is this a good thing or a bad thing? All right, I got to get home.